Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Patrol module by The Ripper. This module allows for the actors on the scene to move around without your direct interaction, either following a set path that you create ahead of time or moving around randomly. Before we look at the GM perspective and the setup, let's take a look at how it appears from the player's perspective. Additionally, I will also be using the Auto Rotate module, which will allow the tokens to turn around on their own as they patrol around. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward past this door. Okay, as I open this door and enter the room, I will see the guards patrolling and moving around. I've added in the optional feature for these guards to spot the player and to become alert to their presence. If they spot the player, a question mark will appear above their heads and the player character will have a set amount of time to move away. Otherwise, the game will pause and the GM could theoretically start an encounter against the patrolling token. Let's go ahead and enter the room. We're just gonna try and move across the room without any of them spotting us. What are, what you, are you doing? doing? Well, it looks like we've been spotted. Let's go ahead and sit here and see what happens as he draws closer. Ah! Ah! All right, the game paused. Now the GM could start an encounter. With a player perspective out of the way, let's go jump over to the GM view and see how we can set this up and make adjustments. While the game is paused, let's start with the simplest setup for the patrol module. You want to go to Draw Tools, draw a rectangle, select that rectangle and edit it. Go into Text, and underneath Text Label, you want to name it Patrol with a capital P. What this rectangle does is it limits the movement of the actors. These tokens will not move outside of this rectangle. However, they're not ready to patrol quite yet. We need to go to the token settings, enable random patrol, and if you want the optional feature where they will spot the players and become alert to the presence, you can check spot player characters and then click update token. Now, assuming the game is not paused, you're not in a combat encounter, and you don't have the token selected, the tokens will move on their own after you hit Toggle Patrol. Ah! Now, notice they did spot my player character right away and stopped the game once again. Let's try that one more time with the player character out of the room. Alright, that is about the simplest setup for the patrol module. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings for the patrol module, as well as how I have them automatically rotating around as they move. And then we can go into some more complex setups. Here we are in the module settings. Most of this is already set up for you ahead of time and you really don't need to adjust a whole lot. However, some things you might want to change include patrol speed for paths, how quickly the tokens are going to move. By making the slider go down, they will move faster. By moving the slider up, they will take a longer time. They'll move slower. You may also want to adjust the alert delay this relates to how long it takes for the token to recognize your player and to stop the game, to go from that question mark to the exclamation mark and when the game is about to pause. You may also want to adjust the spotted sound effect and the alerted sound effect. The alerted sound effect is what plays first. The spotted sound effect is what plays right when the game is about to pause. If you're also using the auto rotate module, I would suggest switching the default rotation mode to automatic. This will make the tokens look a little bit more natural as they're moving around the patrolled area. Next, we're going to set up an explicit path for our guards to follow, rather than allowing them to patrol around randomly in an assigned area. To do this, we're going to go to our draw tool once again and select draw polygon. And we're just going to draw some lines around like so. You can do multiple of these within the same area as well. And then we'll go ahead and stop there. Now we need to name this like we named the other one, but we're going to name it path and then we can name it whatever else we want, like path A, path guard, anything you want, but it has to include path somewhere in the text label. So now, like before, we're going to go to the token settings. We have enable path control on. We do not want enable random control on because we have a set path for them. 
We're going to type in path A, the same name as our drawing. Path node determines where the token is going to start. I want them to start at the very beginning of the path, so we're going to do path node zero, and then click update token. Now, if you select your token as they're moving around the path, you'll see that this number is going to go up and it'll change as the token is moving around. And then we're going to go ahead and deselect our token and start the patrol. And we'll see that the token is going to move to the beginning of the path and start to follow it. Lastly, if you'd like, you can draw another path, give it the same name, and you can select Use Multiple Paths. Now the token can either follow the first one we drew or the second one. We're going to finish up today's video with just an interesting idea. You can combine the patrol module with Monk's Active Tiles. Monk's Active Tiles can be activated both by player characters as well as GM characters, in this case the patrolling token. Now this tile here is only set to open and close this door, but there are a number of features that can be implemented by the tiles. If you are unfamiliar with Monk's Active Tiles, I will be covering them fully in another video. But go ahead and check them out and see what you can do and how they can be activated by these patrolling tokens. Well, that is where we're going to finish for today. Hopefully this video has been helpful and has given you some insight on how you can use the patrol module and implement it in your own game. Thanks everyone and have a good day.